Hey guys, so today we're making some bourbon banana bread. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So we're starting with one stick of unsalted butter, and then we're going in with one cup of sugar, and then you're just gonna cream those together. So my husband is helping me in the kitchen again today. I guess he just loves helping make these videos, y'all, but it's nice having him here. So you're just gonna cream your butter and your sugar together. Next, we're adding in two eggs and make sure you add your eggs one at a time. Mix it well each time you add the egg. Next, we're gonna mash three ripe bananas. Make sure your bananas are ripe. You know, the ones that have like some of the brown spots or even on the darker side. Those are the bananas you wanna use for your delicious banana bread because they're nice and sweetened. Next, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of milk and then we're gonna go in with one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Um, and then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of maple syrup and then a tablespoon or two of bourbon. You can use whatever uh, bourbon you want. We use Rebel Yale for this recipe. And then you're gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and just mix that together and put it to the side. This is uh, two cups of all-purpose flour, and then we're mixing in one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half of a teaspoon of salt, and then you're just going to whisk that together. Going back to that butter and sugar mixture that we did in the beginning, you're gonna add your banana mixture to the butter and sugar mixture, and then you're going to mix that together. And then after you get that incorporated, you're going to add in your dry ingredients. Make sure you grease your loaf pan. We use some butter for that. And so we're just going to coat uh, our pan with some raw sugar. This is optional, but it does add a really nice flavor to your banana bread, a nice crust to it. So I highly recommend doing this step. And then you're gonna add in your batter to the pan. Um, and then you're gonna sprinkle some more sugar on top of that. We're going to bake this in the oven on 325 degrees for about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. And then you're gonna let it rest on the cooling rack. In the meantime, we're gonna make our icing, which is one cup of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of bourbon, a tablespoon of maple syrup. Then we're gonna use a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're gonna mix that together. Um, then you're gonna add in a tablespoon of milk. It could be milk of your choice, it does not matter. And then you're gonna whisk that together until you reach your desired consistency. And then that's pretty much it, you guys. We're going to take our banana bread out of the pan and let it continue cooling on a wire rack. Um, and then you're gonna slice it up, serve it. You don't have to put the icing if you don't want. It has great flavor without the icing but I highly recommend you make this icing and drizzle it on top of your bread. This came out so delicious. It was nice and crusty on top, nice and moist on the middle. Um, and you know, this icing glaze situation <laughs> took it <laughs> over the top, you know, that little bit of bourbon in there gave it nice flavor. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. 
Bye.